Hello, hello, hello. Um, welcome to uh, Wednesdays in Wonderland. We're kicking this back off. Um, kind of slacked off a little bit um, in the spring summer. Had a lot of stuff going on. But we are in a whole brand new catalog season and there is a lot of information that has recently come out that I definitely want to make sure that you guys are aware of. And um, I just want to kind of do like an overview. I don't want to be too, too long with this, but we need to talk about the sweepstakes that that's going on until the 15th. We need to talk about the new shipping tiers, um, the new shipping tier, I want to say, which in my opinion, after looking at it, it's definitely, in my opinion, less confusing than the other shipping tier was. And so I think overall it's going to be a savings and it's not going to be um, more costly to our, our customers and hostesses. So I think that it's good overall. Um, and also there's a bunch of specials now with it being um, August. There are a lot of specials going on um, that if you haven't seen them, you you should be seeing them. So I am going to share my screen <clears throat> and share. I want to talk first about the shipping tiers. So um, if you weren't very, I'm sorry, my knee has been bothering me. So I have to like stretch my leg out. I apologize. I got to move something so I can take my leg out from underneath of the desk and let it go because it hurts to be bent for whatever reason. I don't know if they banged it or what, but that's typical me, right? Typical me. So the shipping changes, there's an FAQ that came out. I'm going to try and um, add this to our Google Drive that we have, but um, I also am going to add it as an image on the team page. I actually printed it out for myself too, so that, you know, for some odd reason, I need to refer to it. I have it, which is always good. So let's talk about this. So starting the first, they were simplifying the shipping tiers um, in the US and Canada. They are offering a single flat rate. So if you don't recall, if you did not have a party order that was $500 or more, your customers on orders that you would place in your back office, in your workstation, not customer shopping on your personal website, but if you were inputting orders in your back office and the party level did not get to $500 or more, you were, your customers were paying 5% shipping on their orders. So that, you know, obviously is a certain cost depending upon what they're ordering and could be a little tricky. And I can personally tell you that for the most part, um, I would have other orders. Like I, even if like my hostess got to like 350, um, I would, I would do what I could to add other orders to it to get to 500, but I may, you know, have only given her the, the hostess credit for what a party would be at 350 and then, you know, use the rest as I saw fit because I, I added orders to it from like other, um, companies or from other customers. So, um, I would do that to avoid having to figure out the 5% shipping. Not everybody can do that though. Um, not everybody can make sure that every single party that they, they put through is um, $500 or more. So it could be a little dicey if you're one of those people that didn't, didn't want to, you know, really mess with your, um, with what your customers were, were dealing with, you know what I mean? So this is overall a savings for all of us. Um, I don't care like how you look at it. Um, <laughs> it um, it's a savings altogether. So it's it sounds a little confusing, but it actually is not confusing. So the new party level to get free shipping actually went down from five hundred to three hundred and fifty dollars. So the catch to it is that these orders have to be entered through your back office, your workstation. If you, you know, have a Facebook party or if you share a link with somebody and they text it to all their friends and they end up getting $350 in orders that come through your personal website, 
where each and every one of those customers that places an order is going to pay individualized individualized shipping. So say say the host, it says the host base, what her rewards are worth um, are based on a $400 party, but all those orders came in from your uh, website where people shopped online, they didn't give you their order, you're not inputting anything but the host rewards. That party does not get free shipping. It gets a flat shipping rate of $10 just $10, not $10 per person, just $10. So if your hostess is the last person that's inputting her order, literally she would be paying the $10. Now, if you do a party and people message you their orders, they text your, your orders or you go to a house party and you collect orders on an order form and that party that you're gonna put in in your back office goes over $350 as the subtotal, that's going to get free shipping for everybody. If it's below 350 and you're inputting those orders in your back office, it's going to be a flat $10 shipping to one address. So it can either go to your hostess or it can go to you. Um, I like to I like to get everything and put like um, pamphlets and samples and everything in it if the customer is local. If for some odd reason they're not local, then yes, if the party level is below 350 and you've input all those orders, they're still going to pay that $10 shipping. So some people were saying, that's not that hard. Um, like say there's 10 people, could charge them all a dollar shipping, okay? Say there's five people, you could charge them $2 shipping. It's a flat rate. Um, so I do really like it because it, it's flat. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, we used to, what we also had before, I really feel like was so confusing because from $1 to $80, if you shopped online on, you know, a website on your website, you were paying eight dollars in shipping, okay? Which basically is like it's ten percent if it's eighty dollars, but if it's below that, you were still paying eight dollars. And then anything above eighty dollars, you paid ten percent. So if you had somebody put in a, you know, an order for one hundred and twelve dollars, you know, because they bought a lot of stuff, they're gonna pay, you know, eleven dollars for shipping. And now it's just flat ten dollars, flat ten dollars, no matter what. Somebody can input um, an order on your personal website for $350 and they're not going to pay shipping. That's the other thing that's good is that free shipping went from um, $200 on a personal website order, like your website order, not you putting it in your back office, went from $200 to $350. And that would get that customer free shipping as long as they do not attach it to a party. And that's what like all this is saying. So there's shipping change shipping changes FAQ that has all that that in here um I want to say I feel like because I was looking it doesn't say anything about Sensi Club but I think that it is the same for Sensi Club that no matter what your um no matter what is in your club it's ten dollar flat shipping every single time and I can tell you that my club has grown over the years so I don't even have a problem like hopping on and showing you one, but like um, I can tell you <clears throat> that I pay a lot um, in shipping. Hold on one second. I'm going to pop on here and like just give you like some like numbers that like I normally pay in shipping. Now, you know, like what I like is that you get that 10% off as long as it's over um $30. So I really feel like it's covering that, but I just want to read off to you like what I kind of pay in shipping normally. And all this stuff is, you know, supposedly changing and making it easier. So yeah, all the ones that I have on here were over $10. So it's going to be, overall, it's going to be a savings and it doesn't have to be confusing. I think the confusing part is people are like, wait a minute, um, so if my hostess has a link and she sends it out to people and it ends up being $500 worth of product that gives her her host base towards her rewards, she still has to pay $10 shipping because all of it was collected through my personal website. Yes. It's literally what it means. Um, they have a couple different scenarios in here. The host is the only person that placed an order, but she wants to get host rewards. It's $350. There's no um, guest orders. There's no attached from a PWS orders. She gets free shipping. Um, the host places a $50 order. She has guests and you are inputting those orders yourself. 
So totals $350. There's no online orders at all. She gets free shipping. Um, if it's the same thing here, they were saying attached order. Oh yeah. The $10 shipping for the attached orders are going to pay $10 each customer. I, I mean, they said that when they were doing these, these numbers, um, it is an overall savings towards us and it simplifies it for them. Um, <clears throat> Dan did talk about it a little bit in our, um, start after chat today that we had with him. And he was explaining that this is literally going to save people money and it's going to be better. And they wouldn't, you know, they obviously wouldn't do it if, if they didn't think that it was beneficial to us. So I actually do like it. Um, when I first joined, well, a party level was $150 instead of 200. So that had gone up. So you, you would get host rewards, you know, so that got changed a little bit, but I want to say, I think the free shipping might've been party level. And so when they increase it to 500 people like lost their minds, rightfully so there's a lot of people that don't like change. Um, but let's be completely honest. You have to change to adapt to your surroundings and your circumstances. Um, the cost of everything is going to go up and they were explaining to us today that they're doing anything and everything in their power to make sure that they're offering us sales and specials and stuff so that our customers don't feel that inflation pain from us. They, you know, like we can't, we have no control over the rest of the world and we're all feeling inflation pain and they're doing everything they can in their power to make sure that they do, like they are keeping their costs down. Um, but we also have to survive, you know, um, a good business can't go under by just, you know, acquiring all of the costs of everything on themselves. Like some point we have to change things around and, you know, they did that $500 to free shipping at a, you know, at a certain point. And, you know, I guess it worked to a certain degree, but I actually like that they put the amount down lower. Um, cause I guess they looked at it and they saw where it was beneficial, like where they could give us savings. So <clears throat> I want to see like, what else is on here? I'm gonna make sure I didn't miss anything. And I hope I didn't, it wasn't sounding confusing. Okay, so the only thing that we're says, if I'm not combining orders into one, can I split the $10 shipping fee between ordering customers? And what this means by not systematically is that they don't have a way for you to do it in the system. But if you're collecting payments, so say you had five customers, the party gets to $200. Okay, she's got, you know, the host has her host rewards. Say you have five people, including the hostess in there. By all means, if you are sending them like a Venmo, a PayPal, a Square, a Cash App, like a whatever however you're collecting their payment maybe they're just giving you their debit card over the phone maybe they're writing you a check by all means if you split it and you write on your little order form that each person paid two dollars in shipping it like you're still getting it and you're acquiring that that funds and when you go to close it out it's in there so you're basically if you're splitting it you're going to have to figure out how you're doing that on your own it's not something that you can split it up on your workstation oh, no, no. All right, so I think, isn't this going to cause everyone to put all customer orders under the host cart instead of adding a customer cart? Now, all orders do not have to be in the host cart. The party order subtotal is what decides on the shipping tier. Okay, basically what they're saying is, are you just going to start a party? Like they're asking, like, do you have to just have a party with like one customer? Because like one customer has to spend 350 and one customer does not have to spend 350. Um So basically saying that the PWS order three fifty more, will we still pay shipping when we close it? No. Okay. So that's saying if somebody shops on someone's link and they spend three fifty and they get free shipping, that doesn't make any sense. We don't close it. They close it. Like when they put their order in, yeah, they receive free shipping. Sorry, I read that wrong. Do PWS orders attached to a party count towards the shipping of the party subtotal? No, that's basically what it's saying is, and I'm wondering if it's going to start looking different. And I actually haven't even looked to see, I have a, I have a party 
open. So let's switch, switch over, switch over. That's a word, right? Switch, switch over. Um, let me see. Okay. So it's got this, this in here. This is a party that's been sitting here. It is a catch all. And I specifically was waiting to close it out in this new catalog season. So I have to pull my raffle for this. So it says right in here that I am going to have to pay $10 shipping. Okay. I'm not adding anything else to this. So there will be $10 shipping. So um, more than likely that will go to the, um, the recipients of the prize. And I will look and see how I want to split that up because um, I can, I normally do four but we'll see, I might be able to do five and then they would just pay $2 a piece. So they're going to pay like a dollar 20 or I'm sorry, what am I saying? Yeah. 225 or something like that. They're going to pay a piece to ship or yeah, for shipping. And it's, it's, that's not a big deal. It's not bad at all. So um, there is going to be explanations in here for you to see, you know, where you're at and it's going to like, listen, it's going to take a little bit for us to get used to it, but I really think that that's freaking awesome. $10 flat out is not bad at all. All right. Let's talk about this um, moments by moments sweepstakes. So if you haven't seen right now, there is a sweepstakes on your, um, me, on your website. Oh, come on. I should just go up here and type it right. Then it would work. So if you haven't seen this yet, there is a win, a dream vacation from Sensi Sweepstakes. This is going on until the 15th of August. I'm sorry. I'm going out of my mind. September. I really am going out of my mind. So this is going from now until September 15th. So people have, what's it, a month and a half to enter into this. So there are official rules. As a consultant, you cannot enter into this, but I would tell everybody in your family, all of your friends, everything, I would tell all of them to, um, to enter into this drawing. So this is, this is a trip that is going to be valued at $9,000. So let me see if I can read on here again, 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 and why it's saying, um, Oh, and if you don't, like, say you don't pay for your website, you they can enter through a mail-in entry option. Okay, so they don't have to pay or buy anything to to enter into this. They just enter. Um, oh, look, I didn't realize they could get more. Let's see. Customers will be awarded one entry by registering to enter the sweepstakes. After registering, they can earn up to 125 bonus entries by successfully completing the following tasks on the sweepstakes registration site. Opt in to receive promotional emails from Sensi and their Sensi consultant that gives you 10 entries. Um, share a referral link from their consultants, PWS, and friends on Facebook. For every friend who completes a sweepstakes registration form from that link, they will earn another 10 bonus entries, a maximum of 100 entries. Um, click to follow Sensi on Instagram, five bonus entries on Facebook, five bonus and learn and click to learn more about Sensi, five bonus entries. So it says, no legal spouses, business partners, or anyone that has a financial interest in your Sensi business, like a co-owner is not eligible in the sweepstakes. So like Gary can't apply. Makes sense. Um, if I am both a Sensi consultant and a Disney cast member, am I eligible for the grand prize if my customer wins? And it says that Disney employees are not eligible to win the consultant prize. So basically what's going to happen is somebody's going to get picked for this grand prize. And if the person that gets picked is your customer that registered to win underneath of your website, you're going to get a trip too. So here's the prize details. Outside of any airline, park, or hotel restrictions, there's no sweepstakes related limitations on who, who the winners can include in their party of four. While children under two are generally free on airlines and for park admission, we highly recommend referring to posted documentation for airlines, resorts, parks, blah, 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 blah. The theme park tickets with park hopper option 
is $500 USD Disney gift card and Sensi prize package will be mailed to the address provided by the winners. Okay, I want to see what it says. The prize package includes one standard room for four people. There is upgrade eligibility. So let's go in here and let's see. Enter for a chance to win. I want to see if it's on here. Since he's giving away a vacation for up to four at Walt Disney World Resort, more exciting prize, including Sensi products, bundles, and select items from your from our Disney collection. So there's going to be more than just the grand prize. A five-night dream vacation for up to four to Walt Disney World Resort, including a four-day theme park tickets with park hopper option, airfare, deluxe hotel accommodations, and more. We're also giving away these magical first place prizes. Assorted Sensi product bund bundles, including select items from our Disney collection. Um, so yeah, so you should be sharing this with people because this is, it's pretty awesome. If you ask me, it's pretty awesome. Um, so what else should we look at here? Let's look at just briefly, just briefly, we just finished an incentive. Now we have a new one that we're working towards. And I think, um, that we will, We'll do another chat to show how you can um, work towards hitting a goal this this fall and earning um, this trip, whatever level you want to earn. I can tell you that I say this over and over and over again. <clears throat> it is a heck of a lot easier for brand new consultants to earn these incentive trips than it is for season like directors and higher i know that you're probably like no 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 no. i promise you it's it's earl it's easier because you have those options to earn these promotions leading up to director when it starts to get a bit harder and you can totally earn whichever trip you want so there's four different options there's a western caribbean cruise um in april you can go to canada in quebec city in may there is New York. There's a whole seat all from the Statue of Liberty, Times Square, Broadway, Central Park, not to mention some of the best museums, restaurants, and shopping in the world. That's from eight, the end of April into May. And then Los Cabos, Mexico is in June. Um, so those are the four trips. And what they explained to us at reunion was um, level two and level three earners. So a uh, level one earner is is uh, 18,000 points. It doesn't, none of them have to be sponsoring points. So you could literally get them just with sales um, from now until the end of January. And that gets you uh, registration to family reunion, which I want to say is like, what did we say? Like $350, $400 or, or more. Um, it doesn't cover it does not cover your airfare or your hotel, it just covers your registration. Um, to earn a trip for one, it's only 25,000 points. And I am dying over this. The sponsoring points are low. The sponsoring points are low. Like, I'm telling you, you guys, there's no reason for you not to be able to go on one of these trips. I'm telling you right now. Like, I want to say last fall the sponsoring points were like almost 10,000 it was like eight or nine thousand points to be able to get um to like level two or something so what they're saying is if for some odd reason one of these trips is more popular one of these places is more popular than the other there could be a cap on it and so your best option is obviously to hit level three but keep going so that you're going to have the ability. It's basically, they were saying that people with the highest points are going to get the pick first. So they were like, start thinking about more than one place that you would like to go. And hopefully you're going to be able to go on the one that you pick, but if not, maybe your second pick. So I'm not a huge beach person. I will go to Los Cabos, but I'm not a huge beach person. Okay. Um, I would prefer the cruise and then Canada because I wouldn't mind actually getting to see like parts of Canada. We barely got to see when we were on the Alaskan cruise, we barely got to see a lot of Canada. 
Um, we were just there for a couple hours. So I'd like to actually spend some time in Canada. So I, I am interested in that. Um, and then I guess Los Cabos would be my number three because I would pick the cruise first and then Canada, then Los Cabos and then New York, just because I've been to New York. I don't live far from New York. So I like to me, New York would be my last pick for some people. New York is their number one pick. The other thing is I've been to New York with Sensi for leadership in 2017. And when you do New York with Sensi, it's different than when you just do New York. So everything is better when you do it with Sensi. So I like it. So you're going to get, and just briefly, we'll do another little sit down and go over like how you can earn stuff. I just want you to see what I'm talking about where it's like, it's so much easier for newer people to earn these trips. One point for every dollar, one point for every PRV that you, dollar PRV that you sell. Um, so they're also going to give 500 points if you attend world tour in person, which is awesome. And going to world tour is never as expensive as reunion. It's significantly less. If you do a thousand PRV or more, five out of the six months that we have this incentive period going on, you're going to get an additional 2,500 points. So this is your goal. What you need to work on every, every month is hitting at least a thousand dollars PRV so that you can get that consistency because you can only miss it one month out of the six. And I promise you, if you can get that starting in August, you're going to have a better chance because December to January, there might be a little bit of a hard time of you getting that thousand unless you, you start pushing yourself now. And I would rather there be, um, that hiccup at the end then for me to say in August, I didn't hit, um, I didn't hit a thousand. So now I have to hit a thousand every single month. So start it, like start getting it from now. I muted you, Troy. Um, just because I'm reading this stuff off, but if you have a question, just let me know. So then the other thing too, is this is what I was talking about, where it's easier for newer consultants to earn because there's more promotions for you to hit. Um, once you get to director, um, it is a lot harder to get to star director and superstar director. And then once you're at star director and superstar director, there's no more promotion points. Um, so you're like, if you, there's nothing to promote above superstar director. So you're not getting any more of these personal promotion points. So if you're an essential or certified consultant, like even if you're essential, like look at this, you hit certified, you don't even have to have anybody join your team and you're going to get another thousand, you're going to get a thousand points. Um, and then as you go up, you're going to get more. So it's, it's, I promise you, it's so easy to hit these, these uh, lower and middle tiers and the harder work comes when you get to director and, and up. Um, so then active. So I like that they are giving you activity points for paid at rank instead of paid at title. Um, because you could be a star consultant. Okay. But you might be getting paid as your rank might be lead consultant for whatever reason. You don't have enough um, PRV to get uh, bonus points or, or you don't have enough active members um, on your team at that time. So you're still going to get something, even though you're a star consultant, you're still going to get something, you know, for me, like I could be a star director and, but I'm getting my rank, like what I'm getting paid at title, like what my rank is, is um, director, just say hypothetically. So I'm at least going to get a thousand points, even if I'm not getting paid at title. So I, I like that they go off of rank and not title because sometimes um, that those consistency points are harder to hit at title, but easier to hit at rank. So like you're, you're guaranteed to get something at rank. You just have to be a lead or higher. Um, so if you had anybody join prior to this incentive starting in August and they weren't, they didn't promote to certified, but they do during this incentive period, you're gonna get 250 points. You're gonna get a thousand points every single time somebody joins um, from now until the end of the incentive and reach a certified, you're going to get a thousand points. 
And then you're also going to get a thousand points for every single one of those people that joins your team from now until the end of the incentive when they hit every single title up to director. So if they certify, a thousand. If they hit lead, a thousand. If they hit star, a thousand. If they hit superstar consultant, you're going to get like you're going to keep getting points. So I like it. So we'll go over this again later. Um, and in more depth, I apologize, the dogs are barking. Um, I really just wanted to hop on here, like I said, to go over the shipping tiers, the raffle, like the, the sweepstakes, and then just for you to see that we are in a new incentive period and now is the time to start planning that. So if anybody wants to do a private like chat where we can map out a plan for you to earn a level that you want to earn so that you know like where you need to push and where you need to move, make moves. Um, I'm absolutely willing to do that with you. I'm going to stop sharing my screen and um, we'll, I'll do another like training with you guys to show you how you can earn it. If you like are too afraid to sit and, and chat with me. Um, so hopefully you got your catalogs and you got some testers. I got my new testers here. Hopefully um, you've looked at some of the new stuff that came out and you know you're sharing it with everybody in your place and your orders i have to start making my samples because i do i normally have people that want like sample packs and stuff sent out um the other thing and i sh we showed you this well i actually didn't post that video yet but i will this is like our new product for the season the twist um i'm really liking this it's really cool so i'm gonna beat myself with it it smells so freaking good this one's new. I was using the other one. I love it. So don't forget, like, you've got some new product that you can share with people. Um, and yeah, so, oh, the only other thing that I wanted to show you, and I didn't show you. Ah, oh, let me see. Where did I put this? Stop. Well, I am going to put it in here. So watch me put it in here. Watch my watch me put it in here these are the august warmer bundle specials okay so we're gonna go to here they are So there are warmer bundles that are going on. This is one of the things like what I was saying earlier that since he's trying to make things be, um, they're trying to bring value, like make sure that our customers are getting value and they're not feeling the inflation that the rest of the world is making them feel. So what I really like about these is there are specific um, warmers that if you purchase them, you can get one of these three different bundles for free. So all of these scents in here, none of them are available right now. They're all older, like I say, like older scents. Um, and I think that that is really cool. Um, and then here's the other one. So they have all of this stuff here. So this one is they get bars and room sprays. I really like it. It's really cool. So make sure that you're checking in on stuff and you're you're checking out everything make sure you're checking on your workstation uh they do little um little blurbs about stuff almost every day like i i check my workstation every single day and i try to make sure that i keep you guys up to par with what's going on but by all means like you should be checking yourself too so that you're not missing anything um i am working this this week on um getting our project broadcast team stuff done so that you guys can start receiving text messages from my business number so that it's going to be helpful for me to share stuff with you guys and if you don't see it on Facebook and I I'm, won't be fighting a Facebook algorithm to get content and information out to you so I've been working on that and I want to finish it up so that it's easier for me to get information in front of your face and you to know that um, something new is going on or, you know, there's some information to be shared. And um, I'm a little excited about that because 
I'm working on the landing page so that we can kind of have like a team newsletter and I'm working on a business newsletter with it so that uh, I can share stuff and it not be, you know, missed because of a social media algorithm that if you're not always working with it, it's working against you. So I hope that you guys are excited um, for this new catalog. I hope you're excited for this new season. I hope you're excited for these options with um, the cruise I, or with the, the trips. I can tell you that they're hands down, they are offering these four different options so that when people earn these, they're not limited by things like um, vaccine restrictions. Um, and you have one of four options for you to do something if you, you know, if you want to take the trip, it does not sound like we're going to be offering a cash buyout um, anymore, I guess, unless like some kind of other circumstance makes that possible. So um, think about what you want to work towards. And I would love to help you build a plan for that. So I'm so glad I didn't go like a whole hour on this. I did good. Um, just chit chatting with you guys. And I'm excited. I want to I want to get back in the rhythm of having these every Wednesday. Even if I can't go live, I'm going to try and have content made so that I can post it for you guys because I know that you do find value in it and I love pouring into you guys and I love helping you reach your goals and succeed. So um, I look forward to these and I hope you guys have a great night and thank you for joining me. We're going we're gonna to pick these back up and we're going to keep going and we're going to have a great time. I promise you. So I hope you have a great night. I hope you have a great week and I hope you're excited. I'll see you later.